Hey everybody, this is Mr. Trizzle, and I have a, an advanced tutorial for you guys. This is uh, Modular Nuclear Reactors by Refined Power Mod, and this is tutorial number 12. For this tutorial, we're going to need the reactor foundation, reactor support rings, reactor input output rings, reactor cooling, reactor shielding, reactor chamber, super conductors, and super high voltage generators. In addition, we're gonna need water, coolant, reactor cores of your choice, which we're gonna use DT reactor cores for this. And then you're gonna need at least a minimum of 100 megawatts of power. We're gonna go ahead and use the solar panel Mark III to be our power generator. We're going to go and break it down for you. In order to create a reactor, we need to create first a reactor foundation. All we're going to do is we're going to open up our build menu. We're going to go all the way down to refined power and then we're going to click on reactor foundation. Now this does have a front and back. So the back of this is where these power poles are. So this is where all the items will go in. And then the other end is where all the items will come out. And I'll show you more about that later. So here's what we're going to do. I want to put the back end where all this other stuff is going to be. So we're just going to go ahead and rotate it. And then put it about, you know, about halfway. That looks good. And place it down. Everything else, all these other items will be placed on top of this, okay? So we have the reactor foundation. I'm gonna show you the reactor IO ring. That's where we're gonna put all of the, there we go. That's where we're gonna put all of the water, the coolants, the cores, and the power, but it's technically gonna be in the back here. So here we go. All right, so the IO ring is connected. Let's go ahead and connect some water. And then we're gonna connect some coolant. It does not matter which one of these that you stick them into, because all four of these are inputs and it doesn't matter which ones you use. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect our cores here. So now this thing is filling up with cores, which is a good thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect the power to it. All right, that is stage one completed. Stage two is going to be the reactor support ring. The support ring is where you're going to connect all of the reactor modules to. I'll show you. There's the support ring. Okay. It's kind of hovering, but you'll understand it in a moment. So we're going to go ahead and place down the reactor support ring. Next part we're going to need is we're going to need to put down the reactor chambers. This right here is where all of the generation, power generation, steam generation are going to be made. And you're going to need to put down a whole bunch of these because if you put down just one, although you can open up the, the menu, you have to place down all 10. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all of these are going to have to be placed in order to turn this bad boy on. But at this stage, we can go ahead and say that we have water and we have reactor coolants. And then I will go and show you the rest of this later. And we already have the reactor core in place. So this is a good thing. So I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and place all of these reactor chambers inside here. And sometimes, sometimes it can be really annoying to place these. And so my, my rule of thumb is I try to place them to the right of this connector right here. For the most part, it generally works. See, I'm aiming for the right of it. 
All right. We have all 10 reactor chambers placed. That is fantastic. This video concludes the basics of building the reactor foundations. The next video will focus on reactor cores, cooling, and starting the reactor.